Today on CJ Classic Truck, we're not going to be talking about performance, but we're going to be focusing on safety. These are the factory lap belts in the C10. They did the job back in the day, but now with newer technology, we have new seat belts that hold us in with a three-point harness. The biggest improvement in seat belts is adding that cross strap against your chest that holds you in. So let me show you how to install these seat belts in our C10. The first step in our installation is to remove our bench. There's four bolts that hold the bench on, two on this side, one here, one in the back, and then two on the other side. Just take a 9 16 wrench, take the bolt out, Once you have all the bolts out of your bench seat, all you do is lift it up and pull it out of the truck. As my cameraman watches me struggle. Do you want me to help you? No, no. Are you sure? Yep. To remove the side retractor belt, the 916 bolt, what you do is you pull the cover off. Right behind here is a 916 bolt and a nut on the bottom. Get the buckle strap off. It's a 19 millimeter or three quarter socket. Once you have all the belts removed on the driver's side, move on to the passenger side and remove all these. Install your seatbelt buckle. You want the bent bracket towards the gas tank. So put your bolt back in. and then tighten that down whenever I find that socket again. Grab your seatbelt retractor bracket, put it into place. Now there is a driver's side and a passenger side. What you want is this tapered edge towards the back of the vehicle and then this big boss towards the front, towards the interior. Slide your bolt and nut and everything back on. Grab your seatbelt retractor Grab the other end of the seatbelt, put the bracket behind the seatbelt retractor, put your bolt through. Once you put the bolt through the brackets, slide it to the bracket that we just put on the floor. Put the supplied washer and nut on. Keep the bolt loose, but just lightly snug it. Now to the last part of installing our seatbelt, the cross strap. There's a bolt hole on some C10s that actually give you a location to put that cross strap. If you do not have this hole, the kit comes with this extra bracket to make a new hole. So what you do is you take a stick with a magnet, slide it up into place, and then you line up a hole and drill a hole and then rivet this bracket from the inside so that you have a hole to mount that third strap on. Luckily, we already have that hole, so we don't have to do this. Grab the strap, grab the supplied shoulder bolt, put the little bushing into the bracket, slide it in. And then go ahead and tighten it down. Once that bolt's tightened down, install your cover, and then tighten all the bolts on the lower bracket. All right, now that we got our seatbelts in, they look great, they work great, do the same thing on the passenger side. Let's get our bench seat in. Remember before bolting your bench seat in, grab these belts, slide them through, it makes it a lot easier when it's unbolted. All we have to do now, bolt our bench seat down, and then our installation's complete. Okay, now that we have everything installed, the last thing we have to do is test out the seatbelt. Nice. Clicks in easy, looks great. I love how it has that factory look, even matches our TMI interior. I mean, overall, these are super easy to install. If you're looking for more safety equipment or more products for your C10, go to cjponyparts.com.